నమస్కారం టు ఆల్ ద డివోటీస్ సో ఇన్ ది ప్రీవియస్ లాస్ట్ టూ క్లాసెస్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ అబౌట్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీరామకృష్ణస్ ఇన్కార్నేషన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద పర్పస్ సో ఇట్ వాస్ అ గ్రేట్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ డిస్కస్డ్ శ్రీరామకృష్ణ హ్యాడ్ అ గ్రేట్ ఛాలెంజ్ టు ఫేస్ ద సొసైటీ what was prevailing those days see it was not difficult for other incarnations like shri ramachandra or shri krishna but in, during the incarnation of shri ramakrishna the society was completely totally different different situation so every age every incarnation so according to the need of the age the lord bhagavan paramatma takes incarnation and see what is what is the need of that particular period to he lord brings the changes so shri ramachandra time there was no problem of existence of god shri rakshi krishna avatara so all even though there was a adharma among kauravas but they didn't have any problem of regarding existence of god but when shri ramakrishna he incarnated so in this kaliyuga the totally different scenario different situation completely different situation what was the situation see our sanatana dharma there are four purusharthas four goal of life what are those dharma artha kama and moksha so first thing is to establish dharma what was need of dharma according to the treta yoga according to dwarpur yoga dharma can be interpreted in different way dharma can be said as a righteousness but for this age to establish dharma when shri ramakrishna incarnate to establish what is that dharma stapakaya dharmasya sarva dharma swarupine avataro rishtaya ramakrishnayate namaha this shloka composed by swami vivekananda on his on his guru stapakaya dharmasya to establish dharma sarva dharma swarupine he became embodiment he personified of he became he personified himself as all other dharmas so what is that dharma he established that we have discussed what is that dharma to dharma of this age is human life is to real god, god realization what is the goal of human life is god realization this god realization the idea of god realization is the dharma of this age that is what shri ramakrishna incarnated incarnated on this earth to establish this dharma so for to realize god to see god face to face say he has so suppose yes who will believe that we don't see god see this age is completely skeptical age age of skeptical skeptic people don't believe anything there's great challenge for shri ramakrishna that is why why swami vivekananda called shri ramakrishna as avatar avarishtha because for ramachandra to only his goal is to kill that ravana to establish dharma and righteousness how one man should live that he has shown it was that was that type of society problem was not there in shri krishna's time the little corruption was there but only rules there was no principle so that he wanted to establish but this age is completely people immersed in doubt immersed in materialism so the materialistic concept materialism was not that much prominent during treta yoga and dwapara yoga for this age materialism atheism and then skeptic and westernization more and more becoming in the name of modernization becoming more and more corruption so one side 
people are very much superstitious in the name of religion in the name of ritualism there so much of superstition and imposing on the society and exploiting this common man common people one side other side completely ignoring god ignoring all other dharma ignoring righteousness more and more immersed in materialism and westernization the influence by western influence and people start uh, stop believing in god and people are what because one side and more and more scientific ex- scientific exploration is also was going on but to face this how to convince the people yes god exists god is there so for that shri ram krishna if you simply say yes god exists who will believe someone has to someone should, someone should be there yes i have seen god for that shri ram krishna did sadhana all sadhana at very first in the beginning so when he had the vision of kali vision of mother divine mother he could have said yes god exists but even then he also because to sh- to show the pe- to the people shri ram krishna directly he did not believe he did not simply accepted yes whether what i am seeing what i am experiencing god is really true what i am experiencing what i have seen is it just is it a hallucination for me or really mother exists like that day and night he cried day and night to be cried to be, to have vision of divine mother so much of that. then after having that vision of divine mother he did not stop there and he he practiced all other sadhanas advaita sadhana tantra sadhana all these things all these sadhanas he practiced and finally said yes god exists god exists and one can see god so this first i have to experience before we want to teach someone first i have to see so that was the challenge before this incarnation so all these thing we have discussed in the last three classes so what is the purpose of shri ramakrishna incarnation to establish dharma that dharma is god realization the human the goal of human life is god realization and then that can be realized so god exists and we can also see god that is the first thing he has done then so after realizing realizing it is simply yes god exists you simply live it did not live because for other if only any ordinary sadhaka he says that is sufficient if i realize god that is sufficient okay but the incarnation he has a purpose otherwise what is we don't call him incarnation we don't call him avatar so what he has, what he has to do what he has really he has to give it to the society he has to give it to the truth to the society how to convey because all through his life he was immersed in sadhana 12 years he did so much of sadhana all uh, extreme austerity he practiced and realized but it has to be given to the society how what is the media then that also given that command he received from divine mother mother herself shown so many disciples will come to you will receive you so day and night shri ramakrishna in if you go to the dakshineshwar temple in kolkata just opposite to dakshineshwar there is kuti one big, small building is there above that he used to stand and he used to call where are oh my children where are you where are you you used to he used to shout he used to cry mother has shown yes people will come to you to receive this knowledge but where are we are not coming he was became so restless because why he became so restless because he has realized truth he has seen the truth see something any even if you ordinary person 
ordinary mundane things is something we discovers we don't feel we become restless to tell something suppose suppose something we hear something some knowledge we get something new we invent we don't keep it keep it with ourselves we feel become restless oh, i have to tell something someone but here this man he has realized highest truth so when the highest truth he has realized then people are suffering how, how to give this highest knowledge how to make them knowledgeable how to ignite this how to give this knowledge to them how to impart this knowledge to them so that they will be free from this misery free from all problems because why people are suffering because of ignorance why people are so much of suffering in the society why in the world because of ignorance material thing is the only highest thing they think they are come because of ignorance this world is true beyond nothing because of that only we suffer so here is the man he has realized he has given the he has got the solution to the all the problems so that he was so much eager to give the similar thing happened to even buddha also after enlightenment buddha he became so restless he was walking here and there where who whom to give i have to tell i have to i realize because joy is there see suppose something joyful if something we get immediately we like to give suppose we purchase something suppose your new mobile if you purchase you don't feel like to keep it to yourself you would like to show it to everyone it is natural but person he has realized highest truth he higher than all other things but it is natural for him to give this knowledge to the society then when we become so much restless then slowly divine mother shown him as disciples will come so slowly one after one after another started coming so one among them this master mahashaya the mahendranath gupta and then right from keshav chandra sen all those people started coming <coughs> this master mahashaya generally it is addressed in the gospel of shri ram krishna in kathamrata in bengali and in master means in english master means here shri ram krishna is addressed as master in bengali and other language master means it is addressed to master mahendranath gupta who is the author of this gospel of shri ram krishna so in bengali it is kathamrata in tamil amudamuligal in kannada is ram krishna vachana veda in telugu ram krishna kathamrata like these different names are there in english gospel of shri ram krishna the this gospel name given by the same mahendranath gupta the author of this book so when he, he came actually mahendranath gupta he did not have any intention to see shri ram krishna like just casually he came actually he was depressed he was in depressed mood because due to some family problems actually, he thought he once one point of time he wanted to commit suicide actually this mahendranath gupta so his friend was there friend at the same time was a relative of mahendranath gupta his siddhu so one day he told see there is a beautiful place in temple garden there live a priest let us go so he came casually not with any intention see how when the turning point comes we don't understand it happens to even our own ashram also so many devotees are devotees are, they express they they share their experiences one devotee was there in, when i was in vijayawada actually there there is a center two centers are one is in uh, river outside krishna river other side um, other side one city center is there still that other side ashram of land was there, there was no ashram we only we are in main city city area surrounded by so many uh, theater bazaar area so one devotee they they used to come they, usually they used to go to cinema just opposite our ashram there is a big cinema hall is there just like that see one devotee one she read about shri ram krishna when she was in she was studying in maybe middle school primary school or something about small um, write up about shri ram krishna 
ಒನ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಈ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಈ ಥಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಓ ಐ ಐ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ಜ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೀ ಹಿಮ್ ಶಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಶೀ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಶೀ ಶೀ ಥಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಶಿ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಶೀ ಈಸ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಅಲೈವ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ದ ಡಿವೋಟಿ whenever is when they whenever they used to come to that city center the cinema hall then so there is a earlier it was ramkrishna seva samiti now it has become ramkrishna mission name oh i think that shri ramkrishna will be there in that ramkrishna seva samiti you can go and meet him she did not thought that shri ramkrishna is not there in physically then suddenly when she came then she said oh in the photo was the worship is going on oh shri ramakrishna is not alive but but she did not lose that belief what so much it, be, it impressed her even though shri ramakrishna is not alive physically she believed that yes, shri ramakrishna yes really exists that so much consolation because of so much of calamity in their family but after seeing shri ramakrishna completely transformed see it happens even now also to many devotees the same thing happened when in shri ramakrishna is not there physically even then it is happening what about when shri ramakrishna is really alive when physically he is alive how much power of course even now also shri ramakrishna's power is going on shri ramakrishna's spiritual power is continuously flowing so, so many devotees are getting inspired one uh, famous uh, one uh, czechoslovakian devotee i think you may get in our um, book stalls how well of the beautiful painting of shri ram krishna his name frank dorak he beautifully painted for frank, frank dorak he beautiful painted the shri ram krishna's photo exactly what you see in um, in a black and white photo but little bit standing with uh, holding like this but this frank dorak is a painter is a great famous painter in uh, from czechoslovakia now he became two separate countries czech and slovakia earlier it was czechoslovakia that devotee he never saw who he did not know what who is shri ramakrishna he never seen in his life just one day suddenly in his dream he saw shri ram krishna continuously two days then after seeing that what he saw in in a dream immediately got up in the midnight and started painting exactly after some days the czechoslovakian that painter went to somewhere our in european country somewhere i don't know exactly which country which uh, center he saw what he has painted the same photo is sitting in the in the shrine shri ramakrishna is sitting how it happened so oh, the power of that uh, power of shri ramakrishna the avatara when they come their grace their blessings always it flows so when even though shri ramakrishna is not alive he has given vision to that person he is not an indian he is completely is a foreigner he does not know anything about indian philosophy indian hinduism nothing in about shri ram there is no chance for him but how the divine works we don't know so in that even that condition he is influence shri ram krishna this avatara's great personality is influencing means when they are living in physically how much they have trans how many people get got transformed so similarly same thing happened to this master mahashaya mahendra nath gupta just he came casually to see he says here it is it was on a sunday in the spring of 1882 a few days after shri ramakrishna's birthday that m met him the first time shri ramakrishna lived at the kalibadi kalibadi means in bengali badi means house the house of divine mother kali badi so kali badi the abode of mother kali on the bank of the ganges at dakshineshwar m being at leisure on sundays had gone with his friend siddu to visit several gardens at baranagar as they were walking in the prasanna banerjee's garden siddu said there is a charming place on the bank of the ganges where a paramahamsa lives 
would you like to go there m assented and they started immediately for the dakshineshwar temple garden they arrived at the main gate at dusk and went straight to shri ramakrishna's room and there they found him seated on a wooden couch facing the east with a smile on his face he was talking of god the room was full of people all seated on the floor drinking in his words in deep silence em stood there speechless and looked on it was as if he was standing where all the holy places met and as if shukadeva himself were speaking the word of god or as if shri chaitanya were singing the names and glories of the lord in puri with his devotees see this description given by master mahashaya this fame mahendra gupta he could have given he could have recorded all the statements of shri ramakrishna just in in proper order but here about himself in a third person keeping himself as a third person and giving all this description why he has written like this this is very interesting see my you see these are all the divine order the order by divine order god himself it is already predestined <coughs> why she, this mahendra gupta master mahashaya recorded this shri ramakrishna's teachings in a conversation form not only just conversation what happened here everywhere you see master about himself he says master mahashi or mahendra m e r in english he address himself as m and he addressing shri ramakrishna as a master here this mahendra gupta is as an outsider he project himself as a third person why the why he has written like this it is not for himself it is for all so when you read gospel of shri ramakrishna or kathamrita in any languages any other language whether it is in your own language or in english the devotee should feel that as if i am talking to god i am talking to shri ramakrishna the purpose of reading this gospel of shri ramakrishna not just for reading just like any other novel not just like any puranas it is the purpose for meditation you should have you should feel that i am meditating upon god i am talking to shri ramakrishna that is why the initially i wanted to have this name the for this class interaction with shri ramakrishna that was the my title actually i wanted but people will get confused confusion that for that reason i just i given the title of this class as shri ramakrishna and his teachings we are interacting with shri ramakrishna it is not in, she m is not interacting with it is not that only m only are interacting with shri ramakrishna m is not only interacting with his guru we are all interacting with shri ramakrishna why when you read this you should also feel yes i am talking to god so every description he is giving the description of temple garden how that building was there how is this <coughs> garden all the description not only that he is giving tot every minute uh, places everything every every place every location time everything is giving in his writings so that people can imagine when you go on reading when you are hearing just you imagine you will go there you will go to directly to the dakshineshwar directly you are talking to shri ram krishna himself here when you read though you are m you are it is m m it is not m it is i i means not only i am a person who is giving lecture not every one of us you should feel that is i am talking to shri ram krishna that feeling should come for that reason m this mahendra gupta master mahashaya has record, he has recorded shri ram krishna's every teachings in a conversation type so that people can meditate and then all your doubts will be clarified so you are asking so we are when we are, i am reading here when comes m is asking me is not m is asking is i am asking 
So each individual asking Sri Ramakrishna this question. So when that feeling comes, the automatically so the reading becomes meditation. It will not, otherwise, it will become just like textbook. Just like children or school students are going uh, studying books, go on making up, by hurting, and afterwards vomiting or whatever you read. It will become like this, but it is not like this. That is why one of the great swamis of our order, he was a vice president also. He is a disciple of Swami Brahmananda Ji. His name was Swami Nirvanananda Ji. He was he was used to serve Swami Brahmananda Ji. Nothing. He is not read much. He is not a great scholar. But by serving his guru, one day when he served, with, so Brahmananda Ji became so became joy joyful of his service. His name, pre pre monastic name was Surji Maharaj. His name was Surji Maharaj. He was Surya Narayana in Bengali. Surji, Surji, they used to call. Surji, you are Brahma Gyan Hobe. Just he blessed because of just serving his guru. Surji, you are. I am very much pleased about your service. I bless you. You will be. You will become Brahma Gyan. And literally, he became Brahma Gyan. He realized that Swami Nirvana Nandiji. then that swami has told this whoever reads this gospel who reads this kathamrita in any language whatever that is english or tamil or telugu kannada or any marathi hindi any language you read with sincerely with great reverence daily without failing at least one page who reads and he will get brahmagnana he said the same one brahmagnani Swami Nirvanananda is telling, one Brahma Gnana is telling, whoever reads this gospel of Sri Ramakrishna every day without fail, at least one page, with great reverence, with sincerity, with devotion, then he will get Brahma Gnana. You will have a God realization. That Swami just told. Because this was, this Mahendranath Gupta, he did not come to Sri Ramakrishna with any purpose. He didn't have any intention to record all these teachings. He did not. He does not. He did not know anything about Sri Ramakrishna when he came. Just he casually came. Then that when he just he came, he may he may not know what is his purpose in his life. But already divine knows what is his purpose. Sri Ramakrishna already knew that there is something person will come. Sri Ramakrishna knew that Swami Vivekananda will come, Narendra Narendra will come. This avatara knows, but we may not know. So today we are you are coming here and listening. So so many people are there. All are not coming. Very few people have come. It is not you coming. It is Sri Ramakrishna who brings you. It is God Divine, the Paramatma Himself is bringing you. You are listening something about Shri, God. It is not my will. It is God's will. because of his command you are coming you are listening something that is why everything we think that we are doing is not like that but similarly what happened this master mahashaya came just when he saw what happened to him then he was listening to the shri ramakrishna's word shri ramakrishna said when hearing the name of hari or rama once you shed tears and your hair stands on end then you may know for certain that you do not have to perform such devotions as the sandhya anymore only then will you have the right to renounce rituals or rather rituals will drop away of themselves then it will be enough if you repeat only the name of rama or hari or even simply om so this is the words of shri ramakrishna <clears throat> then these words just he was listening naturally people think if you, if you want to realize god if you want to really spiritual life you have to give up all your works it will have so it, it, it is a general notion for many people so if you want to realize spiritual life you have to give up all other duties so that is the easy, easiest way to escape from the duties to escape from my responsibility means to take spiritual life so shri ramakrishna he how he is correcting 
so so practical shri ramakrishna that is why shri ramakrishna is a great teacher now it is not only in, of course shri ramakrishna is talking about god talking about spirituality <coughs> but even for he is a best teacher for role model for many teachers <coughs> how to teach even for ordinary what you are teaching in schools and colleges for teachers lecturers shri ramakrishna is a role model if i say i am 100% i can say shri ramakrishna is a very role model because he knows he can observe the student he can see he can understand the psyche of the student and how what he, what how i can teach him so what is best for him so that much capacity shri ramakrishna had it is possible for even ordinary teacher so it is it is possible if best teacher he will observe all the students what is good for him what is good for him so same thing will not teach so it is unfortunate for present education system for every same thing is going on for everyone so we judge everything in for one only one criteria we will keep one criteria based on that we judge all the students that is why we why children are failing in their life successful they are not able to success, able to successful in their life because this is the reason this was not there in our tradition in olden days in gurukula system guru used to observe what is good for him what he can what he can learn so same thing they never used to teach so they used to observe the student what is his talent what is his interest so they accordingly they used to teach the shri ramakrishna also the so many different so many different types of people used to come to see him so at that time when shri ramakrishna was telling the same one person was there sitting in shri ramakrishna in dakshineshwar that hazra his name was hazra <coughs> so he left everything he family family was somewhere in the, in the village so without taking without caring them without providing anything to them simply left his village and came and sat in dakshineshwar so indirectly shri ramakrishna was telling see shri ramakrishna even though is avatar he is always in immersed in samadhi but he never failed to take care of holy mother as long as he lived shri ramakrishna every arrangement what is need for see shri ramakrishna directly goes and asks holy mother you see holy mother used to serve in dahabat in dakshineshwar so just because she is serving so oh, okay she will take her he did not simply left her like this one day shri ramakrishna asked holy mother see how much expenditure happen for, for you per month for your food clothing all those things then shri ramakrishna what is the need shri holy mother asked what is the need no no you tell me so he asked every every details accordingly so he arranges for her for future suppose after leaving this body who will take care of holy mother see in spite of he is a great avatar always immersed in samadhi so even taking care of this is my minute thing he did not give up like this just he did not left her like this so for he, he did not see shri ramakrishna not necessary to any work but whatever he gets from the khajana of uh, dakshineshwar so whatever some money used to come he never used to touch money but whatever it comes he used to keep aside so that deposit so that it would be useful for future expenditure for holy mother see just see that is why we have to learn everything see shri ramakrishna not only teaching about adhyatmika adhyatmika not only teaching about, about spirituality in even how to live in this world how to be how to live with responsible way irresponsibly should not live just because i am a spiritual man i should not become irresponsible to the society that also you can learn that is a great that is why gospel you have to be, you should be very thankful to master mahashaya this mahendra gupta to record all the every deep mind details of these things so shri ramakrishna what is telling so when you can leave this when you can renounce all the works all the duties not necessary to renounce it automatically drops off when you hear the name of hari when you hear the name of god when you when you shed tears from when the tears roll from your eyes 
as soon as when you hear hearing hear, when you hear the name of lord when your tears rolls then need not worry about work need not worry about duties automatic drops off om shanti 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 hari om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanamastu